Welcome to today's program, the latest transfer news from Premier League clubs. Let's follow right after Divin Mubama having Man City Medical after club compensation package with West Ham for free agent in shock £1.2 million move. Divin Mubama is a free agent after leaving West Ham at the end of last season. Julian Alvarez joined Atletico Madrid on Monday in an £81 million deal from Man City. Divin Mubama having his medical at Manchester City today ahead of his £1.2 million move from West Ham, Mubama had been due to sign for Famalicão in Portugal before City stepped in, the 19-year-old forward is a free agent after his contract ran down with West Ham, but they are still due training compensation after nurturing the teenager's career since the age of eight. The England U-20 international was a frustrated figure at West Ham where he made 12 appearances last season but was predominantly used from the bench and kept as back up to their forward options. He was offered new terms but wanted to develop his career elsewhere and had set his sights on playing abroad until the Premier League champions made their move. City are looking to bolster forward options, with Julian Alvarez having left for Atletico Madrid and Oscar Bob ruled out with a fractured leg. Mubama is viewed as one for the future and could figure around the first-team squad initially but with an eye on playing regularly out on loan further down the line, the former Hammer featured for the East London side 12 times in all competitions. Only turning out five times in the Premier League, meanwhile Aston Villa are signing Manchester City midfielder Kane Taylor, 19. The teenager has never featured for the senior side at the Etihad but has earned one cap for the England under-19s. Dutch defender Sepp van den Berg joins Brentford from Liverpool in a deal worth up to £25 million. Dutch defender Sepp van den Berg has joined Brentford from Liverpool. Brentford will pay the Reds up to £25 million for the 22-year-old centre-back. Liverpool defender Sepp van den Berg has joined Brentford in a deal worth up to £25 million. Mail Sport revealed earlier this week that Thomas Frank's side were leading the chase for the Dutch centre-back despite interest from Bayer Leverkusen, the 22-year-old. Completed a medical on Thursday and has signed a five-year deal, Van den Berg joined Liverpool in a £4.4 million move from Eredivisie club PEC Zwolle in 2019, and he has made four senior appearances for the Anfield outfit. However, it was his standout campaign at Mainz in the Bundesliga that propelled him into the thoughts of Brentford and other top-flight clubs, Leverkusen, Wolfsburg, Hoffenheim and Mainz were all keen, as were PSV Eindhoven, but they struggled to match Liverpool's valuation, I'm very pleased that we have managed to sign Sepp, head coach Thomas Frank told Brentford's website. I think this is a great signing for the club and the team, Sepp is a centre-back with a good level and he has the potential to develop even further. He fits our culture and the way we want to play, he is quick, he reads the game well and is composed on the ball in the build-up and in the decisive defending actions. Sepp is a great character, and I am convinced that he will fit in well with the group and help us to push forward. Brentford enjoy a good relationship with Liverpool, having already signed 21-year-old attacking midfielder Fabio Carvalho earlier this summer. Another attacking midfielder, Bobby Clark, left Liverpool on Thursday to join Red Bull Salzburg for £10 million. But Liverpool's summer sale may not be over yet. Defender Joe Gomez is still exploring possible opportunities before the window closes and Nat Phillips could also depart. In terms of potential incoming deals, Liverpool remain in discussions to sign goalkeeper Georgi Mamadishvili from Valencia. The 23-year-old would likely return to Spain on loan, meanwhile, Brentford are also closing on the £10.2 million signing of Brazilian winger Gustavo Nunes from Grêmio. Nunes only made his first team debut in February. The deal will include a 20% sell-on for Grêmio. Leicester reach agreement with Crystal Palace over £8 million deal for Jordan Ayew after having initial offer of £4 million rejected. Leicester have agreed an £8 million deal with Crystal Palace for Jordan Ayew. The Foxes had an initial offer of £4 million rejected for the 32-year-old. Leicester City have reached agreement with Crystal Palace on an £8 million deal to sign forward Jordan Ayew. The Foxes have been pushing to sign the 32-year-old after having an initial offer around £4 million rejected last week. Talks have continued with Steve Cooper eager to bolster his attacking options after a spate of injuries, Ayu has made 212 appearances for the Eagles, scoring 23 times and picking up 22 assists in all competitions. The fee for the Ghanaian will be £5 million with a further £3 million in add-ons, Cooper said on Thursday, 
I think we are close, but we have been close before I thought the week before we were adding two attacking players, but it didn't happen in the end. That's the way it went, the top end of the pitch is an area we would like to strengthen, like we have in midfield. Every area we want to strengthen, but that might not be in this window, we are really keen on getting some deals over the line, and we are working hard. If it happens, great, if not then we have belief in the guys who are here. That's important, if we can add, and I think we will, but if we don't get on with it and commit to our objectives. Ayu started on the bench in the 2-1 defeat at Brentford on Sunday, coming on for the final 20 minutes to replace Daikai Kameda. Aston Villa offered Samu Omarodian after the Atletico Madrid striker's proposed move to Chelsea fell through. Atletico Madrid striker Samu Omarodian, 20, has been offered to Aston Villa. Omarodian saw a move to Chelsea fall through amid concerns over his ankle. Aston Villa have been offered the chance to sign Atletico Madrid striker Samu Omarodian. The 20-year-old is viewed as an option should Villa sell John Duran before next week's transfer deadline. Omarodian saw a £34 million move to. Chelsea fall through earlier this month amid concerns over an ankle injury and Atletico are still keen to sell. Duran, also 20, scored Villa's winning goal in a 2-1 victory at West Ham on Sunday after being linked with a possible move to the London Stadium for much of the summer. The Colombia international has only been a Villa player since January 2023 when he arrived from Chicago Fire for a fee in the region of £18 million. Meanwhile, Omarodian has been on Atletico's book since August last year when he signed from Granada, but Omarodian has not yet made a first-team appearance for Atletico, having spent last season on loan at Alaves. He scored eight goals in 34 La Liga games for Alaves and was later part of the Spain U23 side that won gold at this summer's Olympic. Games. Southampton consider approach for Arsenal goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale as alternative to Feyenoord shot stopper Justin Beeslow. Southampton are considering an approach for Arsenal's Aaron Ramsdale. The Saints have already held talks regarding Justin Beeslow of Feyenoord. Southampton, who have held talks over Feyenoord keeper Justin Beeslow, are alternatively considering an approach for Arsenal keeper Aaron Ramsdale. Wolves have also made an approach for Ramsdale, submitting a loan offer with an option to buy. Arsenal previously rejected a loan proposal from Ajax for Ramsdale. The 26-year-old is eager to play regularly again after losing his place as first-choice goalkeeper at Arsenal to David Raya. Beeslow, who has eight caps for the Netherlands, has played over 100 times for Feyenoord. Alex McCarthy, 34, started in goal for Southampton as they lost 1-0 to Newcastle in their opening Premier League game of the season. Southampton can also call upon Joe Lumley, but Gavin Bazunu is sidelined with a ruptured Achilles, therefore, Southampton boss Russell Martin is eager to strengthen his goalkeeping options.